welcome to Mrs. Dewald's Dandelions. I'm so glad that y'all are here. I have been debating on making a YouTube channel for a while now, and here we are. So for my first video, I figured that I would make a teacher tag, and I will just go ahead and answer some questions that people have been asking me over the last couple months, and just um, telling y'all a little bit more about me so that y'all can um, get to know me a little better. So without further ado, let's get on into it. Okay, so the very first question is kind of like a three-in-one. Um, it says, tell us about yourself. How long have you been teaching and what grades have you taught? So my name is Ashley. I am originally from Texas and I live with my husband and our two fur babies. We have a dog named Bandit and a cat named Vader. Yes, Vader like from uh, Star Wars, Darth Vader. And we actually live in the outskirts of Oklahoma City. We are planning, however, to move um, to Texas within the next year or so. So that is our plan. Um, as far as teaching goes, this will be my fourth year teaching. I have taught pre-K for one year, kindergarten for two years, and then I will be teaching first grade for the first time this year. So I'm very excited, especially because I get to loop up with my kiddos, so I'll be having the exact same class as I did this past year, and I cannot wait. Um, next question. So what is your favorite part about teaching? By far, relationships. I know everyone says that, but if I do not have my relationships in place, my classroom is like murk, murk, murk. I love my kids and I love creating those relationships and just being able to go and see them play baseball and softball and just being able to be at their birthday parties and all that stuff. So relationships by far are my favorite. Um, as far as the next question goes, it says, what is your least favorite part about teaching? One word. It is anxiety. So, of course, anxiety as far as us teachers go, just having all of that pressure to be able to get these kids to where they need to be, but also anxiety as far as the kids go. With me teaching kindergarten and pre-K the past three years, and we still had to do tests. It wasn't like the standardized state tests, but we had to do spark testing on our kids this year, and they had to actually like sit down or stand up and just be able to take the test I like my kids would freak out sometimes because they were like we don't want to do that and I'm like as long as you try your best that's all that matters and so I think just anxiety I mean they're five they don't need to have testing anxiety already like that's not how it should be so anxiety all around just in general the next question is how did you decide on the name of your channel so mrs dewald my name uh i'm mrs dewald that's my last name and then danny lyons way back whenever i was at university not way back it's been a few years now what am i saying um anyway i had to write a philosophy on education paper and basically i had to write about how what i thought about what teaching is and I just had to kind of like create my own analogy and what I believed and so the best way that I could put it was that every single kid was like a dandelion or a flower or plant or however you wanted to say that and so the way that I explained it was they always start as a little seed and then throughout the year y'all grow together and they start blooming and they start learning all of these amazing things and then they're this beautiful flower or dandelion or plant or whatever you want to call it and then they get blown away and they flow off onto the next grade and then they're replanted as another seed and they keep on repeating the process and so that was how I always thought of it and so it just made sense to me to call my channel Mrs. Dewald's Dandelions so it just worked out um, the next question, how many students are in your class this year? Good question. So I know for sure I will have 18. That is what I ended the year with last year. 
whether or not I will have that many um, or any more, I mean, this next year, I'm not sure, especially with everything going on. What is the size that y'all are capped at? So we are technically supposed to be capped at 20 this next year, kindergarten and first grade are. Um, again, with everything going on, I'm not sure if we will for sure be capped at 20 or if they may give us a couple extra or we'll, if we'll have way less. I'm not sure how it's going to work. So, but I know 20 is our technical cap size. Um, what is your perfect school? So I love the school that I am at right now. The admin is phenomenal. Um, they make it very clear that everyone is there for the students, no matter what. The environment that they create, the all the different ways that they celebrate every single student is beyond. It's phenomenal. I love it. And they don't deal with any nonsense. So by far, that is probably my perfect school where it is truly solely focused on just the kids. It does not matter what else is going on. If I mean, of course, if you have your own thing and like if something major happened, of course, they'll work with you. But as far as when you are there, it is about your kids. It is about making sure that they know they are loved. They know that you are there to help them grow. And I could not ask for a better place to work, to be honest. What is your perfect classroom? Okay, so I am actually changing my theme this year. Um, my first three years, I did ocean and I loved it. And I always had like this kind of color in my classroom. I had um, like see-through, they were like ocean shower curtains and I had them hung over my window just so that it wasn't super distracting and the kids weren't always looking outside. But this year, I am actually changing it up. I am changing it to a, sorry, I'm trying to get comfy. <laughs> I am changing it to a farmhouse theme and I'm very excited. So my perfect classroom, no matter what, is as long as it feels homey and your kids feel welcome and loved and just know that they are so welcome there. Oh my goodness, I cannot stop y'all. Um, <laughs> as long as they know that they are so welcome there and that that is their place to learn and grow and just make all of the connections, that's all that matters to me. I could care less if it was completely um, all neutral colors as long as it felt like a home to them and we were all a family. And um, I mean, yeah. Now, as far as this year goes though, I am adding and a few pops of color. I am going to keep like, I keep on pointing to this, like my little kimono color. Um, I am going to keep some pops of color like this in my room, but I am really focused on just making sure that it feels homey and cozy for them. Let's see here, next question. Okay, the last question that I have for this video is, um, if you had to teach a grade in upper elementary or above, what would it be? And I will tell you, I struggled with this question because this will be my fourth year, but I have never in a million years thought about teaching anything above first or second grade. And even then, like kindergarten is my hot spot. Like it is my jam. Um, that is where I always envisioned myself was kindergarten. And so thinking about this really kind of challenged me some. But after a while, I think I would kind of landed on fifth grade. And the reason being is because, yes, you have standardized testing in there. Yes, you have so many, again, that anxiety creeping in, making sure, um, pressuring you to do everything that you can, and same with the students. But at the same time, those relationships like I love kindergartners and I love first graders and I love being able to play with them and actually have hands um, like hands-on activities with them and actually being able to like sit at a table and if they're wanting to do like a sensory table I can actually sit there and we can like talk and just make those little learning discussions and it's so much fun but 
at the same time, I feel like fifth grade would be kind of fun because you can still do a lot of hands-on stuff and games and things like that, but they will understand that I am still their teacher. They will be very respectful. I, um, all of my kindergartners have always been respectful. Same thing with my pre uh, pre-Kers, but at the same time, I feel like I couldn't always be sassy or sarcastic or joke around with them a lot because I'm like, they will probably not understand it. Whereas with fifth graders, like not only will they understand it, they can probably do it back and we can just, it's just, it just seems like a lot of fun to me. So I feel like that would probably be um, the grade that I would pick. Now, fourth grade, I had thought about that, but I just feel like I don't know. I feel like fifth grade is where I would choose. Um, and I, to be honest, other than like the being able to joke around, I know fourth graders can too, like I said, but other than being able to joke around and that kind of stuff, I can't really tell you for sure why I would choose fifth. Um, I think the reason being is because whenever I was in elementary school, my fifth grade teacher, she was phenomenal she um, she was actually the one that made me want to teach and I never changed my mind after that like I was always like I'm going to be a teacher and that's that and it had not changed ever since I had her as my teacher because she joked around we had all sorts of fun she made sure that everyone loved being there like I said it was like a little home and we were all a big family and so I feel like that's just kind of what I would choose if I wasn't teaching a primary, like uh, lower elementary grade anymore. But other than that, I hope y'all enjoyed this video and I hope that y'all will subscribe and like this video. If you do have any questions that I did not answer, those were the questions that I had gotten um, in the last couple months. But if you have any other questions that you want me to answer, please feel free to comment down below. I do not mind answering them at all. And um, other than that, make sure to subscribe because I have quite a bit of stuff to haul in the next few videos. So other than that, I really hope y'all enjoyed this and I will see y'all next time. Bye.